Hello folks, uh, Andrew here, gonna play a little more um, Trails in the Sky. Uh, so, I had a very positive reaction to the Trails stream uh, yesterday, so um, a lot of people were asking me to continue streaming this game, so I'm happy to do so. Um, so, here is what I think I'm going to do. Um, I don't have time during the day to play video games much, which is why it's it, it's 10 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time, my time. Um, so I think evenings when I have a chance I'll play the game, so I wouldn't expect to stream this game any more than two or three times a week. And then we'll do a major stream on Sunday every other week with... Hey, fake. Um, so... Every Sunday we'll alternate games, so one Sunday we'll do Trails, and the next Sunday we'll just do a random game, and uh, we'll try doing it like that. And I do apologize that I can't give any better heads up on when I'm going to stream during the week. Um, that's just my schedule. Um, but uh, these videos will, of course, be archived on YouTube, so uh, if you miss them, because it's way too late, or you're on the other side of the pond, or whatever, uh, th they'll be there for you. So, Alright, so when we last left off, we had become Junior Bracers, and we rescued some kids from a tower. And uh, I actually played this a little bit during my lunch break. And I um, <clears throat> went back to the tower, I reloaded an old save, went back to the tower and made the right, uh, the, the correct decision with some teamwork, took care of the monsters, and we got an extra BP point. So I did that. I also... Uh, which button is it? Is it this one? Yes. I also... Uh, dragged Estelle's corpse around uh, so that Joshua could level up. Uh, so now they're both at level 5, and they both have an equal number of experience. You'll see that Joshua there has 289, and Estelle has 289 also. So, where everything is right with the world. Uh, Jordan says if I give end up giving Avatar more time, it's definitely worth it. Makes character Uncle Eero as great character development. I'm probably not going to watch... I watched five episodes. I think that's enough. The, the show's just not um, progressing fast enough for me. So, I, I'm probably done with that show. But I think I'm gonna... Uh, do a debut review for Korra, because I think that hits Netflix pretty soon. Uh, like, next week or something. Uh, Jordan says, Random Lady in the Cardi B video is literally just a random lady that wandered on set and they kept it in. Yeah, it's it's like, just like, who the hell is that? Okay, everyone's done. Nah, well, no, she, she struts. She struts good, so we're keeping it in. Or it was just a sequence to make people like me wonder. Hi, Radmira. For a backwards ta for a back backwards backwoods town, these stores do carry a pretty nice selection of goods. The liberal kingdom definitely has a different feel with all these ornaments everywhere. I'd better get in the mood to do business starting tomorrow, or I'm going to face some serious financial repercussions. So, what we're supposed to do is we, we completed our first quest, and it, the game's saying go home. But I'm going to talk to everybody in town first, because. That's how I do RPGs. Alright, the two lovebirds aren't here. Anyone up here? No? Hi. Daddy said he can't come home from work today. Your, your father is never coming back. I tell you, he's either cheating on your mother or he's dead. Are you still cooking? You've been cooking all day. How? What are you making that requires that pot to simmer all day? I just received word from my husband that they discovered a new load in the mine. Unfortunately, I'll only be my it'll only be my daughter and I at home for dinner tonight. Again. Now. Yeah. Oh hey, you're the Orbman dudes. Right? 
Aren't you the Orbits dudes? Oh my god, they teleported! Or they've got twins. Oh, this it's this late already. I guess it's time to close up shop. You kids quit loitering around here and get yourselves home, you hear me? If you're aiming to become a first-class bracer, mastering orbital arts will probably be essential. We get a number of bracers stopping by the shop. They always modify their orbments after checking them first. Jordan says, music video director. This shot with a random lady and no music is definitely going to screw with our nearly middle-aged male viewers. Keep it in. <laughs> Which, which house did I just walk in? Okay, this is where I wanted to go. Here we go again. My father is overly strict with my husband. My husband works so hard, I wish my father would give him some time to adjust to the work without complaining. Jordan, you may be right. That whole sequence may just be a troll. <laughs> just to make people wonder why. Harumph! My son-in-law shouldn't be getting all cocky just because he's gotten a little better at the work. He's still not fit to be my successor or my daughter's husband. He needs to be able to bear the weight of Roland's timber industry on his shoulders. Man, I'm beat. I just managed to get enough wood out for the order I received, but my father-in-law won't even acknowledge my efforts. I guess I'm just going to have to work harder. Alright, Fremont and Radford. Melders and Freddy. Okay, so different people, but man, looks exactly looks like the same character model. Uh, Jordan, uh, yes, the the lighting does have a reddish uh, orange tint. That's uh, because it's evening now. Of all things, I heard that Pat and Luke took off to the tower north of here. Yes, yes, we saved their lives. Give us money. I also heard that you rescued them <laughs> as they were being attacked by monsters. You did well. That's just what I'd expect from Cassius's kids. Yeah, Lipsy's a well, Lipsy's. Joshua's adopted. What's wrong? To be honest, Dad was the one who saved us all in the end. <laughs> you kids are still young. You'll continue to grow and mature. Uni came back too, and so all I can say is I'm just glad that everyone's safe. You're Uni, right? Yes. Estelle and Joshua, thanks for rescuing Luke and Pat. Miss Holden was talking lots about you guys and saying that you did a great job. <laughs> Lipsies, thanks, Uni. Hang on. Turning on the fan, because it's 10 o'clock at night, but it's still warm. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, we were in there. Do. Hey there, Roland's two newest bracers! I look forward to your success and your commerce. I'm about ready to close up shop, so if you have any purchases to make, I ask that you be quick about it. Nah, I think we're good. Hey, guess what? Well, I'd better get dinner ready. Lord knows dinner's not gonna make itself, useless damn husband or whoever the hell I live with. Estelle, Joshua, would you like to join us for dinner? I'll whip you up something delicious. Ah, today's not a good day, Ellipses. Are you trying to say that, Ellipses, my cooking isn't good anymore? Huh, Ellipses? You used to tell me how delicious my cooking was when you were a little girl, but now, Ellipses... <laughs> I commit to the role. It's not like that at all! I'm really sorry if we've upset you in any way, but our dad's waiting at home for us. Ellipses. I see. I'm sure your father wants you home for dinner. Poor Cassius would be all alone in that house by himself. Jordan's sleep schedule's been all over the place. I woke up from a dream where I was on set with Boris Karloff, but was at was too starstruck to say hello. Well, Boris Karloff is pretty awesome, even though he's dead. 
Whew, it's already that time again. I put in a good day's work today. I guess it's about time I closed up shop. Still, Joshua, I'm looking forward to hearing about other great things from you. Okay. Did I tell you about this uh, beetle I caught? It was green. I see you hiding there, Charles. There sure is a lot of junk around here. I wonder if there's anything interesting. Charles. Let's see what the, uh... Are we still locked out of the linen closet? Yes. Estelle, I heard the news! It seems like you've finally become a bracer, haven't you? I'm praying for your success, because Lord knows you're going to screw something up. Oh, thanks, Ellipses. And, uh, Joshua is indeed chopped liver. Um, I know they've got a resident in here somewhere, unless she's out on the town. There she is. The mayor's residence is east of town, and the Bracer Guild is south of the clock tower. I think I've got the basic layout of this town now. Well, yeah, so do I, but, you know, I've got a map, so... Soundtrack is a bundle of fun. Yeah, yeah, the music in this game's great. I admit I am a little disappointed that there's no big fanfare for leveling up. It's just... Bloop! <laughs> you know, it's, it's just like a chime. You know, nothing like that. It's just a chime. And that, there's Claire. Little busybody Claire, little paparazzi in the making. I've heard that you two have some major success recently, Estelle and Joshua. I knew I was right to keep my eye on you at all times, even while you sleep. Tee hee, keep up the good work. I'm a fan of the both of you. Can I have a lock of your hair? Maybe a vial of your sweat? I mean, the girl's creepy enough. I don't know <laughs> why I need to characterize her that way, but... Oh, this woman's falling asleep. Oh, and her cat's falling asleep, too. Helda on Netflix is an interesting watch. It's kind of like a mixture of Adventure Time and Gravity Falls. Two shows I've heard of, neither which I've actually watched. Luke is naughty as all get out these days. Just when I thought he was late getting home, it turns out he ran off to Esmolus Tower. It's a good thing those bracers went after him like they did, or who knows what might have happened. That's right. Your lives are mine. Harumph! I just wanted to say I'm grateful that you saved us in the Lipsies. I hate to admit it, but ellipses, you were pretty cool, Estelle. Not as cool as your dad, of course. Of course. Just twist that knife there, Luke. Of all the things Pat could have done, he ran off outside of town, even after I told him so many times how dangerous it is because of roaming monsters. It's a good thing he went left at the fort, because if he went right, he would have died a bunch like I did. <laughs> I still blame Joshua. I'm going to have my husband give him a talking to later because I would just traumatize the poor boy, because I can be very intense. Thanks for saving us today, Estelle. I wonder what would have happened to us if you and Joshua hadn't come. Well, our father probably would have saved you, so... Luke might grumble and say some mean things. That's an odd place for a comma. Luke might grumble and say some mean things. Now... That might be an appropriate place for an ellipses if the reading is supposed to be Luke might grumble and say some mean things, but I'm sure, you know, eh, weird punctuation. But I'm sure he's really grateful to you, Estelle. Please don't get too angry with him. Please don't beat him like the bad monkey he is. Whew! I finally found the book I was looking for. I wonder why it was shelled with Pat's books. Hmm. watching you, Claire. Do, 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 do. 
Let's see ellipses. That should be about it with the accounting for today ellipses. I'd better get ready to close up shop for the day. What shop? Do, do you own the bar downstairs? Sweet. Scooby dooby doo. Hi there, Alyssa. Welcome, you two. Stop by and have a bite to eat every once in a while, okay? If I ask my mom and dad, I can probably get you a free meal. Oh, that's right, Alyssa. Hook us up. You can bring your whole family if you'd like. The one other person. Hey, chef. Got anything new? Oh, we're busy. This is this is the time this place gets the most crowded. Is it? Really? After I finish with all these orders, I'll need to get ready for tomorrow. Wait a minute, though. Alright, we've got the barkeep. We've got Estelle there. Estelle? Alyssa. Sorry. Um, this guy who's been sitting here staring at his eggs all day. This person's been here all day. Not... Well, I mean, there's a new person at the bar. It's not really any more crowded than it was. We already did the wholesome pasta. Chef here makes good use of his ingredients to, uh... Really bring out that hometown flavor. Roland has a lot of farms, right? Personally, I recommend our vegetarian menu. Oh, well. French fries, flowery soda. Oh, I already, already did that. Yeah, I know what the noodles are made of. It's made of monster meat. I can prove it, too. See? Beast flesh. It's a necessary ingredient. It's beast flesh. Do your customers know what you're serving them? Jordan says, I've got a friend slowly trying to convince me to get into Star Trek. I would like to, but it's a lot to get into and seems intimidating. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, is he trying to get you into a specific series or just, like, all of Star Trek? Because <laughs> there's a bunch of movies. There's a bunch of... There's a ton of different TV shows. Uh, there's a, cartoons. There's live-action shows. Novels. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Uh, Mirror's Child says, what platforms is this game on? Well, I'm playing it on PC. I know it's also on the... One of the Sony handhelds. I, I don't... Is it, I think it's PSP. Um, Ridge Ellipses? It looks like you had a pretty rough first day. Was everything alright without Cassius being around? Ugh. Turn that dagger, will you? Are you going to eat your eggs? Are you just ordering the same thing over and over? How much have you had? I'll get back to work after this next drink, or maybe the drink after that. <laughs> Simon, it was certainly worth coming here to do business this time. It seems as though I'll be able to stock up on Septium as planned. It might even be worth staying in Roland a little longer. That reminds me, I heard a new load was discovered in the Malga Mine. Uh, that's the second re mention of Malga Mine. I guess that's probably our next stop. Uh, this may be something to look forward to. Nah, they won't let me leave. He's like, I know you want a level grind. No. <laughs> Alright, I think we looked in all the... Oh, no, the church. Church, church, church. Oh, my. You appear to be troubled by something, Estelle. Ellipses. Uh, really? Ellipses? We as humans grow through these afflictions. These are a trial given to us by the goddess... Idios, who art on high, please guide this beleaguered youth. Cool, but I was not talking to you, Father whatever. Uh, Divine, that's right. Another day has passed. There is nothing better than peace. War should never happen again, Ellipses. I agree. Oh, Idios! I give thanks for the peace and tranquility thou hast bestowed upon us this day. Alright. Oh, right, wait. Oh, I just walked.
walked out of the church, so this way's north. Okay. Uh, Jordan says, with your resistance to handhelds, did you not grow up with handhelds or just didn't like the experience from the start? I never liked them from the start. Now, I'm old enough where my first experience with a handheld was uh, the, the Game Boy, and I thought it just was ugly. And I mean, Tetris was fun. Who doesn't like Tetris, except people who don't like Tetris? Uh, I liked Tetris, but... I felt it not a really comfortable thing to use. Visually, it was ugly, and most of the game sucked. Like, I played Super Mario Land on it, and I thought it was just a horribly pale imitation of uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Um, so that that wasn't a good start with handhelds. But, uh, you know, I've, I've tried pretty much all of them over the years. I, I've never owned one. No, well, that's not true. I, I own a DS because I got that for work because uh, I was doing guides for IGN at the time. I got a 3DS because uh, I, I do actually really like the Ace Ventura... Ace Ventura... Ace, um, Ace Attorney. Uh, it's Phoenix Wright games and Professor Layton's pretty fun. Um, are you ever going to finish these? So, um, generally it's just... It, it's To me, it's a lesser experience and more uncomfortable. That is certainly not to say that handheld games are bad or not fun, because it's not true. There, there's a lot of genuinely really great handheld games. I just, for the most part, really rather play them on a console. Granted, I'm playing this on the PC, and I'd honestly rather not, but that's that's where it's available, so that's where I'm playing it. And I am playing it with a uh, controller instead of a... You can play it with a mouse, but which is fine, but I just prefer a controller. Let's see, maybe I should start making preparations for dinner with Lita. Today I'm thinking about making my husband's favorite corn cream stew, but ellipses, maybe I'd better check with Lita first. Oh, Tetris 99? Yeah. Also, I'm not a multiplayer gamer, so, you know. Hmm, I wonder what I should do about the menu this evening. Maybe I should discuss it with the missus. Maybe you should. <laughs> You'd buy an Ace Ventura Pet Detective game. <laughs> yeah. What say you? When I think about the days after the Hundred Days War ended, there is something amazing about the reconstruction of the Liberal Kingdom. Normalization of diplomatic ties with the Empire, development of orbital technology, fostering trade, Queen Alicia's political finesse is really something else. Well, I hope we meet her someday. Alright, so we... Whoop, no. Here, yeah. Did the mayor's place? Okay, we want to go up to the uh, port authority. Because there's some people up here to talk to. Hey, how goes the sightseeing? How utterly disappointing, Ellipses. There wasn't a single chick who was my type. There was a chick on the flight from Bosi yesterday. She had a strange accent, but she was quite the looker. I wonder if she's still in Roland. Is she the lady in the hotel? Maybe. Each of the five major cities is characteristically different from the rest. For starters, this is the scenic regional city of Roland. To the west lies Bosi, Bose, Boss, I have no idea. The city of commerce, which does a lot of brisk business with the Empire. And further west still lies the seaport city of Rouen which is Liberal's doorway to the great waters beyond. To the south, south, lies the industrial city of Z Z Zeiss, famous for orbment research. And finally, resting on the east shore of Valeria Lake is the beautiful royal city of Grandsell. Since each city is pretty distinct, it might be interesting for you to visit them all using an airliner sometime. Yeah, that might be interesting. Imagine the sound bits for succeeding alrighty then, yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> All flights for today have finished, but I still need to run a safety inspection for tomorrow. Be prepared, that's one of our mottos. It's the Boy Scouts, too, so, you know, try not to get sued. Alright, people have been talked to... What was that? Did I see something? Nope. People have been talked to. We've given everyone a good talking to, so... Let's run home. Will we make it home, or will adventure stop us? Well, we're cutscene walking, so... Hey, Joshua, Ellipses? Hmm? Ellipses. Do you think, Ellipses, I'm really cut out to be a bracer? Ellipses. Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill with the staff, Ellipses. And your nosy personality doesn't let you ignore someone in distress, Ellipses. Really? You think so, Ellipses? Sure, but why are you asking? Are we still thinking about what happened back at the tower? Are you still thinking, rather? Yeah, ellipses. There was a Ace Ventura cartoon. Yeah, I, I believe there was. I, I don't think I ever saw it, but uh, that sounds right. Yeah. Because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. If Dad hadn't come when he did, he could have been seriously injured. I don't know. I think the slug shark we could have taken. On the other hand, we kept getting killed by ladybugs, so. Who knows? I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. Ellipses. That kind of talk doesn't sound like the Estelle I know. Huh, Ellipses? If we fail today, then all that's left to do is take back our losses tomorrow, right? Unless we die, yes. Overthinking and worrying about things that haven't happened yet is definitely not like you. Isn't being a bracer what you've always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed if you let something like what happened today discourage you? Joshua, ellipses, ellipses. You're right, ellipses. This isn't like me at all. I don't think a serious expression really suits your face either. You laughing like a big ditz is far more natural for you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're gonna see my angry expression if you keep that up, ellipses. Haha, ha, Lipsy's okay. I admit that last comment was pushing things a bit. I'll overlook it this time, Ellipses, and Ellipses, thanks for cheering me up. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to go home and eat. My stomach just started growling like a bear. Maybe Glutton is closer to the mark than Dits, Ellipses. Okay. <sighs> really? We need a true Ace Ventura 3. Imagine Jim Carrey wreaking havoc in England searching for the Queen's Corgi. Eh, sounds like fun. You're not gonna let me go down here, are ya? Nope. Raja. Treasure chest? No. Treasure chest? No. Oh, goodness. Dad, we're home. What's for dinner? Oh, yeah, I said I'd cook. Shoot. Learned how to make pasta. It has beast flesh in it. Oh, no dad. There he be. We're home, daddy. We got your, um, <clears throat> magazine. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of your reports will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. And before I forget, I got that copy of the liberal news you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild, too. We couldn't read it. The inventory screen wouldn't let me. A letter, huh, ellipses? Oh, you seem surprised, Cassius. <laughs> well, I'm going to get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad? Um, Ellipses, thanks for coming when you did today, Ellipses. You really helped me out back there. I see you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is. 
no need to hold back, Estelle. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. Yeah, in your dreams. I'm gonna... I swear the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know the shut up, ellipses. I guess she's not as depressed as I had thought she'd be, ellipses! Should I be thanking you, Joshua? I didn't do much, I just gave her a push in the right direction. Estelle's a resilient girl to begin with. Yes, she is, but she still has a long way to go. Well, there's like six games, seven, eight games? <laughs> I don't know, yeah, she's got a long, long way. If it's the same characters throughout, I have no idea. Uh, she's got a long way to go. We'll run into more than just a few stumbling blocks in this line of work. And overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. Heavens! There's that soft side of yours talking again. Eh, oh no! Are eggs supposed to explode like that, ellipses? I guess I shouldn't have gone in expecting to make a perfect meal in a single try, ellipses. No, wait, cooking is supposed to be about passion. Exploding eggs are passionate, right? Now, once more, ellipses. That daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too ellipses passionate. I think I'll go help with dinner. We don't want the curtains to catch fire again. But at this rate, there's no telling when we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. Ha <laughs> ha, ellipses. All right, then. Let's see what this letter is all about, shall we? Cassius cuts the letter seal. Hmm, ellipses. A message from the Erebonian Empire, ellipses. Ellipses, ellipses. Gasp! What ellipses? <laughs> wow, this is a surprise. Salad. Or is it like a... is that an omelette? Hmm. This new dish is what I call Estelle's Explosion over Rice. Be sure to savor every last morsel, Quarternote. I will. Your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. Hehe, <laughs> this is raw talent at its best! Today certainly has been a busy but great day nonetheless. We qual qualified as junior bracers, had our first real assignment, ellipses, and I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious. For a first attempt, this dish is actually quite edible. At first I thought I might have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking, but it seems that that, that technique won't be necessary tonight. Sometimes you're just so dis Despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to be humble and just say something nice? Something tastes nice. Alright then, how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Hello, Macaroni. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Ellipses. Ellipses. Wait, Ellipses. Business? Are you really leaving again? Ellipses. Yes, something unexpected came up. This time, I'm going to be away for a while, so I won't be able to save your butt, so try not to get into trouble. And hi, David. They were gonna make a mask reboot? Hmm. Did I know that? I probably did and then forgot. <laughs> Hold on a minute. You're leaving Ellipses when? Tomorrow morning. What? I don't care what kind of job you're doing. That's just too soon. Too soon. It's about that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Ellipses, just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm away. Oh, we're going off on an adventure. <laughs> What do you mean, that being the case? You always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long ellipses. We have to accept it, Estelle. A bracer's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know, ellipses. But what are you going to do about all your jobs here at the Roland Branch? At the Roland Branch. 
You've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Ah, oh, you're gonna dump them on us, aren't you, Dad? Oh, only about five or six, I was thinking, and, uh, ellipses. How about the both of you handle them for me instead? What, ellipses? I bet, uh, Claire, little Claire, is peeking through... Why is the mouse not... Oh, because... Is... There, look where I'm pointing. It's peeking through the window there. Are you really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to be doing? Are we going to get paid for the work we're doing for you? That I am. I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish. And I'll ask Sherazard to handle the difficult ones. So, what do you say? I say Sherazard is going to be a party member at some point. Sure. Of course we will. You're okay doing these too, right, Joshua? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to get some experience as a bracer. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Ina know uh, about the change of plan before I leave. Alright, I'm starting to feel more determined than ever. We'll have to bust our tails with these jobs so we don't tarnish your <laughs> name while you're gone. So any jobs we screw up, we'll just say, we'll just leave under your name. The ones we're very successful at, we'll, we'll, we'll take the credit for. I think that's fair. Oh, Estelle, my beloved daughter Ellipses, Papa is so proud of Ellipses. Oh, my dear Lena, who art in heaven, I'm guessing that's Mom. Can you see your daughter now? Our little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. Face it, Dad, you're getting old. If people lose their trust in you at this age, you might as well just throw in the towel forever. <laughs> this game is on PC and PSP. Hey, alright, I got it right. <laughs> You recommend it? One of your favorite games of all time? I've only been playing it for like five hours. Uh, I'm not very far because we had to restart the game three or four times because uh, the PC shenanigans. Um, also, I'm reading all the dialogue out loud and pausing to read the chat, so it's, it's going to be a slow process. But yeah, I'm really, really liking the game. Uh, did I ever watch the Jim Henson Dinosaurs show? Um, I've seen some of it. I really liked the puppetry, but the show, um, didn't really do it for me. I I'm not, I, I generally don't like the sitcom, sitcom format, so even if a show is clever and well-written, generally speaking, the sitcom format, uh, just, uh, rubs me the wrong way, so... Oh, crap. Uh, she said something about 16 years. I didn't read her dialogue. Oh, well. I'm only 45, and what's more, I'm very likely the most active member in the entire guild. You should see my glutes. I do squats every day. Never skip leg day. Not bad for a pair of comedians. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Grandsill or the one headed for Bosey? I'll be on the one headed for Grandsill. My fart. My fart. Flight to parts <laughs> at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. I'd better set my alarm clock just in case. Snoring. Snoring. And there's Claire creeping around outside. Dad ellipses. You still awake, Joshua? Or are you sleepwalking? You'd better hold off on the liquor or Estelle will get mad again. Oh god, I didn't even notice that he's got three whole bottles and a glass. This is just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying here is don't offer alcohol to minors. I'm not like Shara, who would jump at any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. <laughs> Ellipses, that's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. Ellipses. Ellipses. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. Ellipses. The Erebonian Empire? Ellipses? Are, are there multiple empires? <laughs> That sounds pretty suspicious. 
This movement doesn't appear to be overt, but that's what has me worried, Ellipses. I intend to do a little probing at the Arabon Ar Arabonian, em Arabonian Embassy to see what turns up. If, if he's given if that's the good stuff Jordan then yeah he's he's father of the year understood I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone don't you spoil that girl you hear me now that she's become a bracer she needs to learn to look after herself Estelle will be fine she's got good instincts and despite being a bit rough around the edges she has talent with the staff as well there's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first-class bracer someday yet at present she's like a babe in arms who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, Ellipses, the same thing can be said for you, too. Ellipses. It's already been five years since you became a part of this family, hasn't it? How time does fly, Ellipses. Yes, Ellipses. It sure does seem that way. About what you said back then, Ellipses, are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? Ellipses, for me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry, Ellipses. There's no need to apologize, Ellipses, but I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase these past five years. Estelle and I will always be your family, no matter what may befall you. Ellipses. Thanks, Ellipses, Dad Ellipses. Yeah, are we... Wait, is that the end of the prologue, or is it the start of the prologue? <laughs> Do -do. Ah, there's Sherazard. Well, it looks like it's time for me to board my flight. Estelle, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself, and try not to be a handful for Joshua either. For the umpteenth time, I heard you already. How about you try not to go overboard yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know? Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. I can still outvent you. Sharzard, I'm really sorry about placing all this work on your shoulders at the last minute. Please, don't be. It's not like I had anything better to do. Don't have a life of my own with my own interests or anything there, Cassius, thanks. I am slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be a humble silver streak. I... I... St still say she runs around naked, that's how she got that, uh, that nickname. And I don't mean to make your life any more difficult, but please keep an eye on these two. You just leave that to me. Is tightening up the reins and not spoiling these two fine with you? You definitely understand the way I think. Beat them. Beat them black and blue. What's this all about, Ellipses? <laughs> it looks to me like a mutual understanding between master and pupil. The Gransel-bound airliner Lindy will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship now. Uh-oh, I'd better take my seat. Have a great trip, Dad. We'll, we'll take care of everything here while you're gone. Hmm. Don't forget to bring me a souvenir. I'm not sure everywhere you'll be going, but don't forget to bring me back a souvenir. A little fancy something would be nice. Hey, now, this trip is for business, not pleasure. If I have any money left over, I'll certainly think about it, though. Alright, you two, be good while I'm gone.
and it explodes. He's gone ellipses again ellipses. Ellipses, yeah, ellipses. Come on, you two, there's no need to look so down. Your father will be back in no time, like a month or so. I don't know what kind of investigation he's been asked to do this time, but when it comes to your father, he'll have it done before you know it. I'm not sad that he's gone, Sniffle. He's always been away more than he's been at home. All right, all right, if you say so. Anyway, I'm going to get work going to get to work on those jobs your father left for me, ellipses. But if you run into any trouble, give me a holla. Will do, but first I'd like to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of doing as Junior Bracers! Alright, if you insist. I imagine that with Joshua tagging along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. <laughs> Thanks. We'll do our best. After we talk to everybody in town. So, what do you want to do now, Estelle? Shall we go stop by the guild? Boy, howdy! We- whoops. We should probably talk to Ina and find out what jobs are waiting for us! Let's go! Hi. Whew, this job is done. The wind sure is calm today. A perfect day for air travel, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. We're making a good start today. For now, I'd probably rate that gal an 83. On a... On a 10 scale? That's amazing! Eh? Get... Where? I want to see an 83 out of 10. Have you seen an 83 out of 10? Your father was on that airliner that just left, right? Is he off on business again? That guy is seriously one busy man, ellipses. Bum dee scum dee doo. Doo doo doo. Doo 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 doo. Well, hi, uh, not Ina, it's, um, U Uni? Yeah, Uni. Luke's been like that since this morning. Boys are so... Oh, there they are. Boys are so simple-minded. I keep pointing at stuff, but you, you can't tell what I'm pointing at. We're Scare the birds! Right, there we are. Hello. Luke, let up a little. Feels like all I can do... Feels like all I... Wait, what? I... Turn and fight? Coward the monsters? Okay, they're just... Fudging around. Hey, where did Cassius take off to? Um, he's gone away on business and won't be back for a while. Is that so? Ellipses, sigh ellipses. Cassius was the one who I was most focused on. That's too bad, ellipses. Claire, ellipses. I think that even if Cassius dressed in normal attire, he'd still shine as an adult male. By changing his style, he'd express himself as a characteristic beau, aside from the typical Joe. There's no doubt he'd be popular on a whole new level, too. Uh, Claire, how old are you again? <laughs> She's a precocious one, isn't she? Precocious just means annoying. Unbelievable! Uh, ellipses. I came all the way here just to find that I wasted all this time for nothing. Can't find any buyers in the shops or bigger cheap gates than I thought they'd be, ellipses. I guess it's safe to say that backwater places will always be backwater places. This lady is really making me angry. Huh? And who are you supposed to be? Then again, I really don't care who you are. I'll give you a deal, so how about you buy something? What, ellipses? Will one of these wood carvings work for you? You won't find fine workmanship like this outside of the Calvert Republic. 
Calvert? Sounds familiar, Ellipses. Is that some famous store or something? The Calvert Republic is the country to the east of the Liberal Kingdom. I knew that. So, Calvert make folk craft items are what you're selling, eh? I'm sure you'd find a lot more people willing to take them off your hands if you went to Royal City. THE Royal City. Ah, <sighs> Ellipses, you think so? I really thought some place in the boonies like this one would be a taker on these, but maybe I was wrong. Danger, danger, angry meter rising ellipses. Oh well, I guess I'll try heading to the Gransel sooner rather than later. Then again, what is my son Charles up to? Just when I thought I could get some help out of him, he ups and wanders off. Oh? Ida says nothing except ellipses. She's sleeping again, and so's the kitty. Never too early to drink. Well, we certainly were lucky this time. Who'd have thought they'd discover a new load while we were here discussing business? Coming here was much better than listening to the worthless talk of merchants from the Empire. Right, Simon? Even though she's just being facetious, she really she still looks completely right about Roland's resources. She has a very good eye for all kinds of commodities. So, you've finally taken your first step as bracers, eh? Your names are already being mentioned among the customers. Really? Roland may be in the country, but we've got some famous people here, like Cassius and Shara. Now, I just wonder how you're going to break into the big leagues. Oh, come on, Alyssa. Please don't put so much pressure on me. Oh, the guy left and didn't finish his eggs. Breakfast! The vegetables from the Purzel farm haven't come in as scheduled. I wonder what could have happened, Ellipses. Well, that's going to be a bracer test. We're going to have to investigate the pretzels from... Er, the... Yes, pretzels. The chef suddenly said something about changing his supplier, Ellipses. I wonder what's going on. What up? We received a message from the pretzel farm uh, saying they wouldn't be able to ship veggies for a while. I wonder what could have happened up at the farm, Ellipses. I guess I'll have to make immediate arrangements with another supplier. Uh, hello folks. Bracers here. Solve problems. Don't cause too many. Yesterday, my husband, Pat, and I managed to hold a conversation together. My husband gave Pat a good scolding, and well, ellipses, Pat's always been a reasonable child, so he saw the error of his ways. I wonder if it was a great opportunity for all of us. Alright, you have any new books for me? I was shocked when I heard the news that Pat had gone to the uh, Esmolas Tower. He's an obedient kid, but like any child, it seems he has a strong sense of curiosity. It's not a bad thing, but I sure scolded him something fierce over it this time. Aha! Ho oh, ho ha ha. Luke took off today in a big rush. I wonder if he's really learned his lesson from last time, Ellipses. Ah, uh, no, Luke's an idiot, so probably not. Probably not. Well, hey there. Crap, I wonder where the darn thing went. I've checked every place I could think of, ellipses. Hey. Dude, I will help you out if you tell me what you're missing. I live for this crap. I'm gonna start going to Sunday school soon. I wonder if school's fun. <laughs> no, it's not. My husband who manages the mine works so hard, so I need to work hard too. He's never coming back, Frissa. He's never coming back. When I think about things in this way, strangely, I don't feel lonely that we're apart. <laughs> I guess this is just another way of showing each other our love. Well, whatever gets you through the day, Alyssa. Frissa. Frissa, yeah. Whatever, you know who you are. 
Hip, hip. There we go. If my lower back hadn't given me all this trouble, I'd still be working in the forest. It's too bad that my body aches as bad as it does at this age. I still want to get out there and work. I feel a bit insecure about my daughter's husband working out there alone. I was just thinking about this as I was out shopping, but ellipses, it seems like there's a lot less quality veggies now than there used to be. I wonder if it's just my imagination, ellipses. Have you ever heard anything from your father about when he was in the military? No, Lipsies. He almost never talks about anything before he became a bracer. Although, he often told me about my mom. Ellipses. She's dead, you know. How about you, Joshua? Have you heard anything from Dad? No. Yeah, he tells me his stuff all the time. He just never talks to you. It's, it's really sad. Now that goes for me as well. Even if I ask, he always finds some way to evade the subject. Yeah, he does that, doesn't he? I see ellipses. At any rate, liberals at peace. For now. And there's nothing I want more than to have Uni live in a time of peace. Hello, Orbit. Uh, the game looks very interesting. How is it so far? I'm really enjoying it so far. There's the door. I found the door! Oh, hey kids. We're on a pilgrimage to... S oh, those are kids. Uh, <laughs> new people. We're on a pilgrimage to see chapels from each region of this beautiful kingdom. The airliner just arrived in Roland. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be the 83 out of 10 that the, the, the lecherous guy was talking about, are you? Yes! 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 I came along with my husband fully intending to shop till I drop. Oh, I thought she was just really excited about church. The air in Roland is so fresh, and the city itself is peaceful and calming. Please bless the mayor and his wife so that they may live in good health, Ellipses. Stone and Joshua, I heard that you both joined the guild. I am sure that aside from your aspirations and expectations, that there's some tension and anxiety, Ellipses. Hmm, Ellipses. I sense that Estelle has... Estelle... Ep, I know her name. Estelle has a different kind of anxiety. Eh, Ellipses? I think it must be a mistake in ellipses. The absence of a parent would cause anyone to feel uncertain, ellipses. Ellipses. However, as we hu we as humans have the strength to overcome such adversity. Think of these trials as a gift from the goddess, and work hard to overcome them. I'll try ellipses. Oh. Ah, okay, that's the maid from the, uh, the mayor's place. Uh, Orbit says, uh, Trails in the Sky must be an unknown gem from, like, the early 2000s looking like. Yeah, I think it's 2003 or 4, or something like that. It's not completely obscure. I mean, it wasn't localized uh, for North America until several years later, so, uh, it did take quite a while to get here, but, um... It's here now. I think it was localizing after 2010, so 2011, 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there. Aren't you Estelle? I've heard many things about you from Father Divine. Why is Father Divine talking about me? L like, what kind of things, ellipses? <laughs> ellipses. Oh, just stories about when you were in Sunday school and such. It seems you were an expert at sleeping in class, being late, skipping school, and generally just causing trouble. Uh, Macaroni says, uh, well, I guess it's actually Macaroni if I'm reading that correctly. It says 2004, so I had the correct range. Yay me. It seems you were, uh, it was released in 2004 in Japan, but it was only localized by Xseed in 2011. Okay, so I also had the right range there. I am good at this. Uh, it seems you were an expert at sleeping at blah blah blah, skipping control, generally causing trouble, right? But despite all these things, it looks like Father Divine was quite fond of you as a student. You, you really think so, Ellipses? Maybe too fond. Uh, will I play second chapter? Uh, I mean, unless this game takes a serious downturn at some point, uh, almost assuredly, yeah. Mm, any 
anyone hiding around here. Oh, she finally finished doing whatever she was doing with the bed. Well, yeah, she's in the church right now, so you're still in here. Our son is working as a teacher at the Genis Royal Academy. The house has felt quite spacious since he left, uh, but it, he was a big boy. But it's at times like these when I feel a little lonely. Uh, Orbit says, says on PC, right? Might have to check it out. Can't be more than like 10 bucks. Uh, it's on both Steam and good old games, but I think it retails for 20. But if you wait around, it'll probably be on sale at some point. I heard that, uh, also, I, again, I'm, I'm just playing this now, but I hear it's like a good 50, 60 hour RPG, so... I heard that a new load was discovered at the Malga Mine to the north of here, and it seems that it's a pretty promising deposit as well. This is definitely good news for the mine. Yay, mine! Mine? 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 Mine, mine, mine? Did I go in here? Whoop. Do, do, do. Alright, so we gotta... Whoop. Oof. Gotta go to the hotel. And then we gotta go to the shops. Things have just settled down here at the front desk. We get a... I don't remember walking from the house to town. Did we get cutscene warped here? Yeah, we did, because we, we were at the airport. That's right. We get a lot of guests coming in and out of here when the airliners are landing and departing. Alright, got any new guests? No? Yeah, Good Old Games is a good one. They do, uh, you know, DRM-free uh, versions of the game, so that's always nice. Let's see, first I'll need to make an appointment with the Mayor Ellipses. You know, you, you're never going to get anything done if you don't leave the room. Oh, is it about ten bucks right now? Last I looked at it was uh, twenty, but so, great, yeah, pick it up. By the way, this game is split into three parts, so you should check them out too if you want to know the full story. Yeah, there's uh, uh, Trails in the Sky is uh, three games. Uh, first chapter, second chapter, and part three. <laughs> and it's second chapter ending made you ball. Nice. What's the deal with everything being in short supply around here, Harumph? Damn it! Somehow I'm going to have to dig up a grade A product before I head to my next business deal, Ellipses. Hmm. Pardon. Oh, goodness me. Renan's a hard worker and a good son, Ellipses, but as a parent I'd like him to take a wife and... Blah. Num num fish. But as a parent, I'd like him to take a wife and set my mind at ease. Oh, okay. It's midnight, uh, so you're in uh, central time, huh? It looks like the Lynn just arrived at the landing port. I'm sure the products I ordered from Bosi have come. I've got to go pick them up. Any new stock since yesterday? No. How much money do I have? Uh, 1270. So we could probably pick up some, uh, some goodies. This, is, this just goes outside, right? Yeah. Is that you, Estelle and Joshua? Could you not bother me while I'm working? <sighs> Ellipses, but I guess you're old enough that I don't have to tell you that, huh? And your bracers, too? Well, that's something else. I've changed my mind about you, kids. Oh, well, good. Looks like the airline bound for the Royal City from Bosi has arrived. But since we've got nothing coming in, we'll be able to focus on work here in the shop. Alright.
Oh, you're in Mountain? Okay. That means Arizona or... God, what else is in the Mountain Time Zone? Is it just Arizona? <laughs> I don't remember. Well, how are you two doing today? Cassius is going to be gone for a while, right? That's right, Ellipses. If you need anything, please know you're welcome to come and ask for help. We're not strangers or new acquaintances, you know. Don't hesitate if you need anything, or I'll be really angry. <laughs> uh, thanks for the reminder. Hey there, how are our first year bracers doing? So, Cassius is going to be out for a while, eh? Yes, we just saw him off at the landing port. You sure man you sure managed to hear about it rather quickly though. <laughs> well, ellipses. Back in the day Cassius used to leave Estelle with us while he was away. But after you came here he started having you keep an eye on having you keep an eye on things. I didn't know that, ellipses. I didn't know that either, but that makes that explains the woman upstairs and why she's so familiar. She used to babysit. Nice. Estelle gets surprisingly Estelle gets surprisingly lonely when no one is around. Whenever we had her over, she was as quiet as a cat among strangers. Aw, don't stay say stuff like that. I am not. After about two or three days here, though, she'd eat, sleep, and play like it was her own house. <laughs> I can imagine that. No, oh, thanks, Orbit. Right kind of you. Ellipses! <laughs> Angry ellipses! <laughs> I've got naked baby pictures to show, too! Be right with the Ina, is Sherry ups- Oh, wait, hey, you're not Sherisard. It seems as though your father is going to be gone on business for a while. The second you think my dad's been home for a bit, he strolls right back out the door. I wonder if he's really working sometimes, Ellipses. Cassius is in every way the veteran member of the Roland branch. It seems like until recently, Cassius was handing, uh, handling all the important requests single-handedly. Really? Yep, it seems like he only just started leaving some of these jobs up to Shara. Seems like he gets a lot of direct requests from other branches as well, that's why he's gone so often. I had no idea, Ellipses. You really don't know your father at all, do you, Estelle? Well, he's the type of person that never talks about work while he's at home. Yeah, whenever he's at home, he just seems like a no-good middle-aged man. Huh. Cash is only five years older than I am, so... Now I feel bad. <laughs> oh, good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us. Sure. There are a total of three jobs I have lined up for you. Check the board. For the first one, I'd like you to head out to the farm west of here. Yes, Pretzel Farm! The farm west of here? Isn't that where Teal lives? Teal? I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Ellipses? Teal Pretzel. She was one of her classmates at Sunday school. She's also the Pretzel Farm owner's daughter. Not really. It's actually the pretzel farm that's put in a request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody's been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Bruh. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. Kill them all. I never would have expected something like that to happen, ellipses. Okay, we'll head out there right now! Why do I keep saying pretzel if it's per perzel? Uh, because it's funny? <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm saying pretzel on purpose just because it's amusing to me. Uh, I think what happened was uh, that the chef in the bar mentioned um, perzel town and the vegetables. And then I walked out and I said, you know, I said something like, you know, we're probably going to have to go on a quest to, for the shipment of pretzels. And I was like, no, wait, it's not pretzels, it was vegetables, and the town was... And then I had to go, so now I'm just going to call it pretzel. Here, take this with you. Receive the guild referral. Oh, okay. This document certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary, Ellipses, but we'll take it just in case. 
No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Oh, and we can't really look at it. Okay. So, there we go. Ooh! All right, we got quests! Side quests! Oh, it's an RPG now! Find the shiny rock! Oh, it's a long-term quest? Weird. All right, so, that's Charles. I th think that that's, it's that kid who was looking for something, right? I'd like someone to find my shiny rock. Please speak to me directly for details. I think I might have dropped it behind the Melder, uh, Melder's Orville factory. All righty. Did, did, did I already take it? Hang on. Uh, this button? No. No, not that button. This button. There we go. Okay, so, Pretzel Farm Monsters. Reports have been made of monsters destroying crops at the Pretzel Farm. Uh, while there have been no injuries as of yet, best to exterminate them as soon as possible. Sure, everyone's continued safety. Uh, go west. Okay, so we're not going to the mine yet. Uh, we gotta go to the Pretzel Farm. Okay, so we, so I don't have to confirm. It's just once you look at it, it goes in your book. Okay. All right. What's the other one? Milch Main Road Monster. Oh, so well, that's on the way. Uh, let's see. Ferocious monster known as a pine plant has been spotted roving the Milch Main Road. Bracers from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. And Macaroni says, uh, "I swear, man, you'll hate the abyss worms." Is that what infesting the uh, pretzel farm? Uh huh. Heading south at the break along the Milch Main Road. Good luck! Alright, let me, uh. Okay, yeah, so. You know, uh, west out of the town. Oh no, I can go straight through the, uh. straight through the shop. Alright, you. This is really weird, Ellipses. Where could it have gone, Ellipses? Oh, Ellipses! Excuse me, but can I ask you something? You didn't see a shiny rock around here anywhere, did you? Eh? A shiny rock? Yeah, that's right, one that sparkles. You didn't see a rock like that lying around anywhere, did you? Are you saying you lost something? Um, I don't recall seeing anything like that. Do you know where you might have dropped it? My mom was calling for me, so I ran over to the general goods store where she was. I know I had it in my hand at the time, but when I came back here, it was gone. When you say the general goods store, you mean Mr. Renan's store, right? Did you look in front of his store? Obviously, that's the first place I looked. You don't need to treat me like a kid, you know. My! Ellipses, aren't you a charmer? Precocious brat! Well, I already asked the Bracer Guild to help find it, so I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. If you happen to come across it, give me a holla straight away. I'll probably be around. All right. Uh, it says he dropped it outside the shop, but he looked for it there and didn't find it. All right. Well, let's go ask Mr. Renan if, uh... Hey. Did you, uh... You're not selling a shiny rock or anything, are you? I'm not gonna have to buy it, right? No? Let's, hey, hey, official bracer business, buddy. Tell me everything you know about the shiny rock. How about you? What do you know about a shiny rock? A likely story. <laughs> Whoops, I just walked outside. It's not where I wanted to be. Alright, he was standing here yesterday. Did he drop it in the sewer? Let's see if that door is magically unlocked. Excuse me. 
excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, still locked. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep, excuse me. Well, over a bunch of games, I can imagine, you know, with so many NPCs, you get, you're gonna unavoidably, uh... Um, <clears throat> hell am I trying to say? Uh, get duplicate names every now and then. Hey, did you see a rock? No. Claire! Eyes and ears of the town. See a rock? It's shiny? Sparkly? No? Yeah, uh, okay. Abort. What was the other one? Ferocious monster, pine plat. Uh huh. Actually, uh, we've got a little bit of money. That was the wrong button. Oh, wait. <coughs> Being a shiny rock, maybe someone mistook it for septium or quart sepith. So we'll go to the orb place in a bit. Alright, I've got 1270, which means I could get some, uh... Get an armor vest, that would be nice. Can't get, can't get armor for both. Someone's gonna be left out. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's leave it for now. If we get our asses kicked on the road, we can always come back. Hey, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, huh? Hmm. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just uh, hit the road for now and see what trouble we can get into. But first, we do the smart thing. Ah, the open road. Let's let me get a Oh, it's fairly wide. Okay. Spotted roving the Milch Main Road. Pine plant. Okay, so it's just... It's just out here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just walk along the road at first and see what we see. Okay, that was nice. Now we'll go down here. Surprise! In the face. Ha! Too much agility for you. Yes, 
flesh of the beast. Ah. Well, um, square actually is the, at least the way it's mapped on this controller, is the shortcut to the recipe. Triangle is shortcut to the, uh, this book thing here. Are any of them actually shortcut to the monster Rolodex? No. Mm. No, but I could always just do that. <laughs> so. Alright, we got anything down here. Oh, in battle? Well, I mean, once I highlight an enemy, it shows that off, so... I'll, but I'll try that, I didn't know that. Looking for my... Oh, not you! No, oh, I hate you. you! You guys are mean! Nope. Nope. No! <laughs> no go away! <laughs> Aha! Preemptive strike. Or attack, that's what it's called. <laughs> well, it doesn't do anything, but if I'm on attack, and I, or on any of these, and I highlight the enemies, it brings up the, uh, the elemental efficacy chart, so. Um. Joshua! Joshua, you always get us in trouble, dude. Shiny discs of time. That's that. Then. Let's move out. Took me a little while to learn which end of the plant was the backside. <laughs> Later games when it's in 3D, you don't have the uh, party member behind you messing up your plans, Joshua.
No, I didn't. Wasn't paying attention at all. Shame on me. I was hoping more speed would give me a double attack, or two turns in a row, but eh. Alright. <laughs> you need to use the fast forward button in battle, you're gonna be playing this game for a hundred hours. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, you know, after a while I will, but, uh... here because we're a weenie. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, both of you are... Thank goodness Cassius isn't here to see that. Yeah, we can we can turbo, so... But it's my turn anyway, so... Alright, redeem yourself. There we go. Joshua, your turn. Redemption! Redemption! Beast flesh. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah ha ha ha. Aw. So that's a thing, huh? Oh goodness me, look at what happened. Alright. Battle theme here, that's pretty nice. Oh, goodness. Sadly, I don't have anything that hits multiple enemies. That's a shame. Oh, what? These guys are a lot more durable than anyone else. We may have to run.
out. Oh. That sucks. Huh. Well, that was the S break button. Why didn't it do the thing? Not now. Huh. Okay, I am misunderstanding how to do the S break. Well, that sucks. Bye. I'll be back for you when we're a little bit stronger. Off to the pretzel farm! Alright, what's this area look like? Okay. South, pretzel farm. Go along the road, then back up over the top. That, oh, you beetly bastard! I hit you in the head with a stick. Father think. Stealth's contagious. Alright, we're good to go. Chest is empty. Haha, <laughs> I got you. I love that.
I could go back to town and, uh... up my, uh, go sleep or something, but, uh, see if there's something like that here at the pretzel farm. Lots of good veg. Ah, no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here, Ellipses. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either, Ellipses. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on the details. I wonder if Tio is home today, Ellipses. Oh, can't read the signs. I'm walking on your veg, I'm walking on your veg, walking on, walking, walking on your veg. Persimmons. My Stardew Valley farm doesn't look anywhere near this uh, near this nice. Hi, chickens. Oh. Okay, so they're not an unlimited supply of eggs, I take it. Okay. And they may rise up and murder you if you do that too much, so... I've played Zelda, I know how this works. Oh, greenhouses. Hello, small child. I said hello. It's Joshua! And Estelle. Did you come to play with me? I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? Ellipses. That's no fun if we can't play. <laughs> Maybe later if there's time. The kids here really like you, Joshua. Me, not so much. Oh, Ellipses Joshua. Estelle. Hi, Cher. How have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They were eaten by monsters. They're not home right now. Tio's outside if you want to talk to her, though. Well, we are outside. So, could you be a bit more specific than outside? I'm not. This is not north. This is north. Okay, no wonder I miss. <laughs> no wonder I read this wrong. Okay, I was looking at the map wrong. Oops. Okay. Well, we know Tio's outside, so let's explore inside. Maybe they have stuff to steal. Don't mind me, just going through your house without your permission. Nope. Well, that's a frightening looking stuffed toy. Look at that. That's definitely haunted. That might be her. Oh, we can talk to this one. Cow says moo. The cow says moo. 
Tio, I presume? Hi, Tio! It's been a while, hasn't it? Estelle and Joshua, too. Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here on Bracer Business. We heard that you've been having some... trouble with monsters. Estelle and Joshua explain that they are here to do their father's work because he is away. You've finished all your training? That's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. So there really are monsters giving you trouble, eh? Regrettably, that's been the case the past several days now. Thanks to which I'm suffering from lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night. You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. What do you what do you think? I agree. Okay, so through the cow pen is the only okay, yeah, through the cow pen is the only way out of here. There we go. And there's no healing station in here, that's that I see. Chicken, 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 chicken. Ah, Oh, you little jerk. Run away! Oh, you really want some of this? Oh, wait, level up restores my health anyway, so that was a, a waste of five seconds. How much money do I have on me? 1270? Oh yeah, the monsters don't drop cash. I'd have to trade in a septum. Sep, sep, sepith? Whatever it's called. We we okay. So now now we're going to explore off the road here and see if we can find some fun stuff to play with. Aha! I got you from behind. Ah, oh, Joshua. Man, dude. Dude, man. Man. Dude. You know, both my characters have, uh, fully charged S-crafts. Unfortunately, neither of them, I believe, actually target more than one enemy at a time. Yeah, there it is. More than one enemy at a time, so... Otherwise, I'd go kick the butts of those other monsters. Mm -hmm. Actually, I walked into that one on accident. Oh, <laughs> 
taste my trials of cold steel. <laughs> Name drop. that beast flesh part of a balanced diet I love a treasure chest chest is empty surprise not really but I did forget to read the uh ugh the chest on the other side Oh, you, you botched a critical. Again? Oh, Joshua, um, Mom and Dad came home. I, th I think they're in the house. Okay. I was right. Talk to the kids. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Pretzel. How is everybody getting on these days? Well, I hope. <laughs> well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today from the Bracer Guild. Estelle hands Mr. Pretzel the, uh, the guild referral, and Joshua explains that they are taking over for their father while he is away. Is that so? But don't you think this job is a little dangerous for just the two of you to handle when instead when before it was just one person your father? I agree. I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt, Ellipses. Don't sweat it. We're bracers after all, and taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The... Pardon me. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm... Ellipses. Well, alright then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Pretzel. Then, could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, Ellipses, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. Alright, I already like this. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our fields, gnawing on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but I want you to kill them. But they're extremely nimble. Well, I mean, Estelle keeps missing, hitting big monsters with her stick, so uh, I don't know if we're gonna... how well we'll do here, but... We've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures, if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. 
Then how about taking a load off until then? I assume you'll be joining us for dinner, right? You said the magic word! You bet I will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mrs. Pretzel. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time in the toiling in the kitchen, and for that I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your expectations. I was gonna phone it in before, but you convinced me to try. Oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever to you. I, I that teddy bear thing is disturbing me. Ha <laughs> ha, that's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. I feel really bad for Joshua though, Lipsies. <laughs> With the little ones jumping all over him like that. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that the children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely courteous and maybe even a tad reserved, but ellipses. If you get to know him, he's really a caring young man. Uh, the fact that he's not self-conscious about it, too, gives him points in my book. Plus, he plays the harmonica awesome-like. You really think so? Think about it, with those striking facial features and chiseled abs, uh, mysterious amber eyes and lush black hair ellipses, it's only natural that he'd be a target for all the young girls. Ellipses? Is Shashara really that popular? Ellipses, are you blind, Estelle? This is why Claire thinks you're banging! Rumor has it that more than just a few girls have asked to go out with him. I hear that he turned them all down, though. I had no idea, Ellipses. Joshua never said a word to me about it, Ellipses. I don't know how I should even begin to describe his secretive nature after hearing this, but how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me! Tell me of your sex life, Joshua! I must know! If you were a boy, I imagined it would be a different story, but as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me! Yay, incest. Huh? Why would I? Estelle, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. Alright, coming. I'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done to you. Mm -hmm. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Alright. But be careful out there, Estelle. There was no but. I don't know why I said but. It was just be careful out there. That girl, Ellipses, she's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart or just plain dense, Ellipses. Poor Joshua, he really has his work cut out for him. Seems as though the monsters always show up at this time. Up at about this time, I can read. We'd better get outside and take a look around. Ellipses, girl, Ellipses. What's going on, Estelle? I gotta ask, Joshua. You don't happen to, Ellipses, have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Hmm? Come on now. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live us with us, Ellipses, we've always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, Ellipses, they're all good memories for me now, and Ellipses, what I mean to say is I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Well, that's gonna make it even more awkward. Or sexy. Estelle, Ellipses. So, Ellipses, if there's ever anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, about things like, Ellipses, trouble with your love life and whatnot, Ellipses. What are you trying to say? D nothing, I just wanted to let you know that I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to. That, that's all. Let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick some monster butt. <laughs> she said butt. <laughs> What kind of nonsense is Teo putting in that girl's head? Ellipses. Secrets, huh? Ellipses. <laughs> wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see, Ellipses. How about we start by checking around the house first and move on to the field, stable, and greenhouses? We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it that way. Alright, let's go.
Alright, house. Mm hmm. Okay. Can't get behind the house. I think the fields were next, but, you know, whatever. Mm hmm. It's awfully quiet, ellipses. All I hear are the bugs chirping. Doesn't look as if they've shown up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Hey Joshua, did anyone ever tell you that story as a kid? You know, the one about babies being born in a cabbage patch? Now there's another question entirely out of the blue ellipses, and no, I was told about an angel with silver silver wings who delivers them. Interesting. So the explanation for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? Ellipses. Ellipses. How about we get back to work? Okay. What do you think, cow? Yeah. How about you, cow? Mm. Where are the chickens? No monsters here, ellipses. All right, let's keep moving. As you were. in the greenhouses, right? Ellipses. I should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the orb, min orb mints sure give this place a romantic ambiance. Makes me feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You are definitely a dense Estelle Ellipses. At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. Look! It, I, I don't know if I would characterize that as a chubby cat, but... Meown! It's getting away! Hey, get back here, you little furball! I can still sense its presence, Ellipses. It's staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good, because it's about to get caught. I've got a turbo button, you little pud. Of course, that speeds you up too, so you know. Mm -hmm. Did did he did he come by here? No. Yep. Yep. There we go. Whoop! There he is. Ha! I got him. I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. But will we be able to kill something so cute? Here's where our job really starts, so stay alert and don't let your guard down. Oh, there's only one. Okay, three of them. Okay. I don't think you're dead. Dude, it's laying motionless on the ground. How do you miss that? Oh. We're oh my god, both of you. Leave that part out of the report. That's just embarrassing.
Good job, Estelle. You managed to smack a target that's not moving. Goodness, the work of a bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job of rounding up these critters. Tee hee, it was nothing really. I wanted to ask you though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Do we really have to exterminate them? Now that we've given these critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Estelle, how's that going to benefit anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? We're here to do a job by exterminating the monsters, remember? But, ellipses? In any case, we're here to do a job in Dad's place. If the same thing happens again, what will you have to say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but ellipses. Ellipses. You know, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so ellipses. What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, ellipses, after taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Tio, Mrs. Pretzel, ellipses. But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise, ellipses. I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, ellipses, but would you mind sparing these critters just this once? Ellipses. Understood ellipses. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know you <laughs> I know you had your heart set on murdering these fluffy little critters. I know you two came all the way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. Then that's that. Alright, you critters, you'd better count your blessings. If we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram. Migya! Now, if they were ugly monsters, we would have just murdered them. Well, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and hit the sack. And then go to sleep. The two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Ellipses? Joshua? What's wrong, Ellipses? I'm sorry, Ellipses. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. It's just I can't suppress the bloodlust. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it, I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't, Ellipses. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. I don't know, they didn't look too miserable to me. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. Ellipses? It's at times like this that, ellipses, I really begin to loathe myself, ellipses. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> ellipses. Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something, Ellipses. 
Well, it must be my riveting gameplay, Macaroni. <laughs> Joshua! I increase my font to you! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself. Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. Changing your clothes, taking a shower, and I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anything anyone else. Probably even more than you yourself. Ellipses? I won't allow you to just disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. Ellipses. I'm sorry, it was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's all that really... That's, that's, that's what really matters. Ellipses. Ellipses. But you know what? Believe it or not, Ellipses, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, ellipses, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Ellipses. Estelle, I ellipses. Joshua, you were able to lay bare your own weaknesses today. You learned to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, for that, I am happy. I don't know what your point is, but ellipses. I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. Ha! I've got a whole lot more where that came from, quarter note. But how about we call it a night? After all this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. Well, all right then. Have a good night, Estelle. And thanks, ellipses. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. You recommend reading Loa Monogatari after playing SC? Don't know what that is. Um, the stuff with Joshua will make sense at the end, especially in the second chapter. Oh yeah, no doubt. There, there, there's some dark past stuff going on here. Uh, almost certainly between him and Cassius. Uh, da, 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 enigmatic Wang. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it's only a little after midnight for me, I think. Yeah. But uh, some folks uh, expressed interest in seeing me uh, continue playing the game, so. Um, Gotta, gotta take the hours where I can find them. Thank you both, you did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore, we were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for dinner. For the night again, when things are convenient for you, I'll treat you to some of my best cooking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation, Tio and Mrs. Pretzel. We'll definitely be back to take you up on that when we when our workload settles down. Cutscene walk. So what is Loa Web Monogatari? Uh, alright, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one! Which way am I facing? Okay, I know where I am. Oh, oh, Joshua, you again. This is always your fault, Joshua. You're so bad at this. Oh, it's a manga, okay. <laughs> I 
Oh, it's, uh... It's in continuity with, uh... It, with uh, the tra uh, Trails games. Okay. Good to go. Oh, savory pine cone? What, what, what did I just pick up? Savory pinion. Thin, clear, mem membranous wing. It's, it's used as flavoring. Okay. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying the game. Breath of Fire 3, huh? I don't think I've played the Breath of Fire series. Hi, Claire. Looks like there's been an incident at the pretzel farm. I wonder if I should go barging into the guild and report it to Anna. I mean, you could. Drop a good word. Alright, should be getting your veggies. I just get, so you got a new meal for us to try. Just got a message from the pretzel farm. They said that the vegetables should come in any time now. I'm getting my vegetables from somewhere else at the moment, but pretzel farms are the best. Hmm. You have that foreigner named Sherizard at the Roland Branch, right? Not only is she attractive, but she's one of my best customers, which I'm thankful for, of course her attractiveness or her best customerness. But when it comes to liquor, she's unbelievable. And when I say unbelievable, I mean ellipses. <laughs> oh, we know. I can empathize. She's normally such a beautiful, friendly young woman, too. Ellipses. Oh, is, is Sherazard a, a mean drunk? Oh, hey, how are you doing? Oh, well, maybe I'll try heading to Grand Cell. Then again, my... Uh, same thing. Hey, kid, any leads on the rock? Oh! Well, heck. Look at that. I think it fell down the grate. Ellipses? What's the matter? I wonder what that is, Ellipses. There's something shining down there through the sewer grate. You're right. It looks like something must have fallen through. The sewers? Don't tell me you forgot about the sewers already, Ellipses. You know, Ellipses, that smelly monster-infested place we were in not that long ago, Ellipses! Alright! Those sewers. We went there during our practical training, right? The entrance to the sewer should be just behind the chapel. If you're so interested in what's down there, then how about we check it out a little later? Sure. Let's do that. Whoops, I just walked right past where I want to go. Uh, Breath of, uh, Breath of Fire has a deal like Zelda where the protagonist is always named Ryu and can always transform into a dragon or dragon-human hybrid. Oh, well, that <laughs> makes sense why his name's Ryu. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei? I've played... Uh, the only one I've played is the uh, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which is... Well, it's more Shin Megami Tensei than it is Fire Emblem, so I, I guess it's kind of close, but... Uh, that's that's the only one of the series I've played, and that's more of a spin-off than anything else. But I really quite liked it. Good morning! How did the job at the farm go? Um, we had a few bumps in the road, but ellipses. Let me give you a brief report of the details. Joshua gives Zina a rundown of the report. Alright. Receive payment for pretzel farm monsters. Yay! And we gained BP. Whoop. And some... and monies. So now we can buy stuff. That's nice. We set the monsters free because the pretzel family requested you to do so. I think it was premature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. 
Is it okay to leave things like that? The mission of Abracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice, ellipses. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are as many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a bracer, it is your job to be able to discern these things. Indeed, our work is a very profound has very profound implications if you think about it in that way. That's because we aren't an organization that deals strictly with monster problems. We also intervene when the disputes arise between nations. To become a higher oh we're, we are going to be ambassadors. We're gonna put the ass in ambassador. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving skills are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving ability, eh? Serious? The road to the big leagues sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. <laughs> well, then your only choice is to devote yourself to working hard every day. And since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are the words I've been waiting to hear. I'm ready for anything, so what have you got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs a good whipping? Not this time. The next job will entail the transportation of goods. We, we're, we're If you make us go back to the pretzel farm to haul pretzel uh, uh, vegetables all the way to the cafe, I will do that because I'll do every side quest in the game. <laughs> And get this! Your client is none other than Mayor Klaus himself. Really? A request from the mayor? Do you think it'll be alright leaving such an important task up to us? And by us, I mean Estelle. <laughs> from what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, that's why we're giving it to you. <laughs> if it required competence, we'd uh, we'd give it to Sherizard, so... In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. Anything new here? Yes! Uh, did I ever end up getting Octopath Traveler? I remember enjoying that game. I played the demo and quite enjoyed it, but the damn price has never dropped, so, uh... Um... So I've not picked it up yet, but that is definitely something I would like to, uh... Get at some point. Alright, so, are we going to have... Oh, I think the... So I'm guessing, and correct me if I'm wrong in the chat if you know, that the parentheses short, parentheses wrong, parentheses medium is... Is that a... This quest needs to be completed in a short amount of time, so get on it. This one is whenever you get around to it. Is that what that means? That, that's my assumption, anyway. I don't know if that's correct. Oh, pardon me. Uh, looking for rare mushrooms that grow only where there are rich deposits of septium in the ground. Should be an easy, fun job. For details, please come seek me out. My name is Orvid, and I'll be waiting at the landing port. Okay. Uh, Macaroni says, I kind of hated Octopath. Oh, really? Huh. Uh, what didn't you like about it? Now, to, to be clear, again, I only played the demo, but of the demo, I, I rather liked what I played. So, uh, what, what uh, rubbed you the wrong way about Octopath? Uh, orbment replacement. I'm looking for someone to replace a malfunctioning orbment light in the road lamp on the Milch Main Road. Oh, we know where that is. Is that the Elders? Or elders. I'm thinking of the Elder Melder and Monster Hunter. <clears throat> medical necessities. Look for the medical necessities. Simple medical necessities. I am searching for a flower known as a bear claw. That's a pastry. It's a donut. It's not a flower. And a savory pinion. Well, we actually just got one of those. The former is native to the forest of Mi Mistwald, south of Roland, and the latter comes from insect-like monsters, which, yeah, we, we got one of those. Anyone who finds these items, please come see me at Roland Chapel. Uh, Macaroni says, played the demo too, that's how I found out about it. I liked what I played and bought it. Ooh, I'm left in suspense. Uh, the soldier, uh, soldier training. The soldiers stationed at the Verte Bridge are said to undergo special training, and we're looking for a few good men or women to play the parts of enemy soldiers. If you're up to the task, contact Chief Warrant Officer Ashton at the Verte checkpoint on the end, uh, west end of the main road. Alrighty. Sherazard, are you up here? Nah, it's just... Roy Bridge, right. So you two were trained by Sherry, huh? Sheriff. Yep, you got it. So I guess we're in the same boat. In fact, it's my pride and joy that I trained under Shara. 
She's considered to be one of the best bracers in the entire kingdom. I've worked together with her, and I can tell you that her nickname, Silver Streak, isn't for show. <laughs> I, s I still say she ran naked through the town when she was drunk. It ellipses isn't. Beginning with your father, Cassius, the Roland branch is blessed with some extremely skilled bracers. I guess Shara is really talented then, isn't she? Hearing this come from someone else makes me realize it all over again. Uh, after 15 hours of Octopath, it gets boring and grund grindy, and the story isn't interesting enough to keep me, me going, in my opinion. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, hey, kids. Mayor Klaus just came by here. He greeted me with such a big voice. The garden at the mayor's place is so well kept, I just want to track muddy footprints all over it. I heard that the mayor even does it all himself. <laughs> yeah, you heard wrong. Mayor Klaus was uh, weeding around the clock tower earlier. Oh, well, okay, I stand corrected. Do mayors have to do those kinds of jobs? That's his hobby. There are even rumors that he really enjoys gardening, too. Oh, well, I mean, there is a balcony on the other side of his office that has flowers on it, so... I wonder if that's why he's called Old Man Klaus. No, it's because his name is Klaus and he's an old man. Well, aren't you glad that he's informal, accessible for everyone like that? Alright, into the sewers. Uh, music is really good. Oh, from what I remember from Octopath, yeah, the music was great. Uh, but I feel the whole dynamic of having multiple paths kind of falls apart because the characters don't talk to each other much and each battle is super slow, even slower than this game. Hmm. That is one of my concerns about Octopath, because from what I understand, uh, the eight characters can be played in any order, which could possibly restrict the narrative flow of the game. You know, like, the game has to be written really general to accommodate that, which would be a shame. Hey, you guys are in the way. Oh well. the exact opposite of Trails, no wonder I don't like it. Trails is my favorite series, so I kind of shouldn't have expected it. Notice how this game has boatloads of dialogue. I don't know, that's just me, I guess. Uh, Wang asks, uh... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Do -do -do. Uh, when's the next charity stream, and if you could play any game for it, what would it be? Uh, it's... early November. Um, yeah. Let's see. I think it is... Oh. I cannot scroll with one hand, apparently. Uh, I... I think it's November 7th? I think so. So, we got a ways yet. Uh, let's see. Don't know what I'll be playing. I have some ideas that I'm working on. Um, I would like to do the uh, Super Mario Maker 2 thing I did last year where uh, donators could... Uh, you know, everyone who donates ten bucks can submit a level for me to play in Super Mario Maker 2. That was a lot of fun, and everyone seemed to enjoy that. Um, I am thinking about some other stuff, too, but uh, still still working on out logistics and things. On a quartz fragment. I see now. The thing we saw shining through the sewer grate was this. Seems like it. Quartz fragment, huh? Ellipses? Now we know why it was shining so much. The way it sparkles is so beautiful. This is made of Septium 2, right? Loosely speaking, yes, ellipses. But let's talk about it later. This isn't really the place to have a leisurely chat. 
I guess you're right. No normal person would want to stay here any longer than they had to. Is this door still locked? Yeah. I'm gonna open you one day. Boop! Hello, butterflies. Alright. Shin Megami Tensei 5 has been announced. Yeah, I saw that on the, uh... Was it a Nintendo Direct it was announced on? They didn't really show anything of the game, so... I mean, they, they should like some cutscenes, so you know what the protagonist looks like and the art style they're going for, but, uh... I think they announced... Uh, they said 2021 for it, right? So it's possibly 2022. But yeah, they they mentioned uh, say uh, or Atlas Sega Public. I don't remember. They announced that uh, God way back when the uh, Switch was announced. So uh, nice to know that it's not dead. Nocturne, which is, what, the third one I was getting a remaster? Yeah, saw that. I haven't played any of them, so... Alright, let's go talk to Brian or Lucas or whatever his name is. What's your name? Charles! That's right. Hey, Ellipses! Is that Rock Ellipses? Could it be that Ellipses? Ellipses, this is the rock you've been looking for? Hand it over Quartz Fragment. Yep, and this is the one, my shiny rock. My precious! Ellipses. Ellipses, why is it all dirty like this? Why does it smell of poo? Hey, don't you have something else to say before you complain? You guys are bracers, right? I've already paid your money to the guild, therefore I think I have the right to complain. That's not the problem here. Calm down, Estelle, he's just a kid. I know that, but Ellipses... This quartz is what you were looking for, right? Yeah, that's the one, Ellipses. This rock is really quartz? You mean the same kind of quartz that's in an orbment? Yep, same kind of quartz made of sepith. It's chipped, so it doesn't function anymore. I see, Ellipses. So this rock belonged to an orbment Ellipses. Ellipses. Eh? What's wrong? You seem a bit out of it. Ellipsy zoo me? Oh, it's nothing. I'm glad you found it. I guess that's about it then. Be off with you. Oh, that reminds me! I almost forgot here. Take these. We got drill meatballs. <laughs> Five drill meatballs. The meaty balls of a drill. What is a drill? I'm almost afraid to ask. My mom gave these to me and tells me they're healthy, but they're kind of bitter, so I can't stand them. Anyway, I appreciate what you did for me today. Goodbye, Charles. Seriously, what a cheeky little kid. Now, I'm sure it's a difficult age for him. But, ellipses, I wonder why he was searching for that quartz. What do you mean? Now that you mention it, it does seem a little strange. But oh well, everyone has something they think it's, is important. Truer words couldn't be spoken. Perhaps that kid has an interest in orbments. I, for one, don't see what's so interesting about these overly complex gadgets. <laughs> My brain goes numb just thinking about them. Except for the fact that you'll have to get used to them sooner or later. You won't be able to fulfill your job as a bracer if you can't use one. Alright, alright, I'll try and learn. We completed a quest. Let's get paid! Ina, give us money! Not much, but, you know. Oh, hey! We are Junior Bracer 8th Class! Sweet! We received Information Quartz as a perk. Which, if I'm remembering from the uh, Bracer book, Bracer Handbook or whatever, allows us to see enemy stats or something. Good work! It seems you completed your objective without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. So, let's actually... Is it... 
this button? No. Whatever, it's, uh... A field ravaging monster. Its special talent is to play dead. Leader of the pack, smart enough to use arts attacks, favors an eye poking attack. Well, I, I murdered him with my S craft, so didn't get to see that. Why are they red? Oh, wait, it, yeah, whoops. Status? No. Grammar? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, perceived enemy status. Got it. Okay, cool. Do I have to equip something to do that? Where's the meatballs? No, those are... Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, it is a thing that I actually have to equip. Okay. Drill meatball, there we go. A nourishing meatball uses curd of horn powder for flavor. Ah, uh, okay. Anything new? awful lot of menus. Yeah, uh, it, it's basically the instruction booklet, though, so it's more of a reference manual. So. hard work recently? Yeah, it's because we're still new at this, so we have to work extra hard. It's encouraging to hear. You guys actually came at a good time. I've got an urgent job that needs to be taken care of. Do you think you'd be up to the task of replacing an orbit light in the road a lamp along the Milch Main Road? Sure. You just leave it to us. If you're fine with us doing the job, then we'll gladly accept. Thanks. Really appreciate this. I completely forgot it needed to be replaced today. First off, I'll need to give you the replacement part. So we've got an orbit light. Uh, what time is it? I do need to work in the morning, so... Uh, midnight 30? Yeah. It's a problem with RPGs. It's like, oh, just one more thing. This is the replacement orbit? That's right. I want you to replace the orbit light uh, in road lamp number 6 on the Milch Main Road to the west. It's the sixth road lamp that you'll come across counting from Roland's west entrance. Make sure you get the right one. I got it. Sixth road lamp from Roland's west entrance, right? Once you've found the road lamp, you'll need to open the maintenance panel. You'll need a six-digit combination to open it. Are you serious? Yep, combination for the sixth road lamp is uh, 544818. Just in case the game makes me remember that. Five four four eight one eight. I'm sorry, but could you repeat that again? It's five four four eight one eight. That's right. Good memory, Joshua. Show off, ellipses. After the combination is entered, the panel will open, and after that, all that's left is to replace the orbit. 
may seem like a simple task, but make sure not to mess it up. The road lamp may have been out of order for a while now. I see. The light of the orbments keep the large monsters away, right? It's not much more than an unconscious dislike for them. But if they do go out, then we run into real problems, which is why I'm asking you to do this job, just in case. These road lamps are placed just off the roads in places where monsters are most likely to appear. Well, you just leave those monsters to me, and I'll take care of them. But I'd better write down that combination before I forget ellipses. Then maybe you should let me deal with the combination instead. I'll leave it up to you to divide the work amongst yourselves. Should be everything you need to know. Good luck! If you need to double check or cancel the job, then come and talk with me again. Alright. So, sixth lamp. Whoops. Are the... those aren't... it's not four lamps, it's just... Well, I don't know. Wait, are you a lamp? Are you a lamp? No bug, go away. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. Wait, did I get a prompt at any of the others? No, so, alright. From what Freddy said, I think this is the road lamp. Ellipses. I'm very certain this is the right one, too. It says road lamp number six on the panel as well. Oh, well, golly. You're right, it does. Alrighty then, let's get to work and finish this job. Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. What do you mean, ellipses? Where'd all these monsters come from? Looks like the orbment really has burned out. Anyway, one of us will need to fend off these monsters while the other replaces the orbment. Yeah, you're right. Well then, ellipses. Leave these monsters to me because I will never remember <laughs> what the damn uh, combination is. Leave these monsters to me because I've always it has a five in it. Okay, I'll open the maintenance panel. So hold them off until then, Estelle. Got it. I am gonna beat you like bad monkeys. Get area of effect attack, you guys are gonna be in so much trouble. Come on now, Estelle. Seriously now. Nice. 
shot, buddy. Oh, come now. Pulled ahead in the experience pool. That's four experience that Joshua will never see. But we got some beast flesh out of it, so. Whew. So, have you monsters had enough? There she goes again, ellipses. How's everything on your side, Joshua? I'm putting in the combination right now. What have you been doing for the last three minutes? Let's see, ellipses. It was 544818. Was it? Yeah, it was. I think. Ellipses. I'm okay here, so just focus on the work. Alright, it's open. Now all we need to do is replace the orbit. Ellipses. Oh, baby, I'm on a roll. Come on, come on, come on, you monsters! Sorry to have kept you waiting, Estelle. Our work, here is do our work is done here. Huh? Ellipses? Done? Ellipses? Wait, so you've already replaced the orbit? Yep, I don't think we'll need to worry about any more monsters. Oh, that's it. Ellipses. You sound like that's a bad thing. <laughs> Ellipses, star. Must be your imagination. You are really something else, Ellipses. Race you home. Smartphones make old school RPGs so much easier. Yeah, well, I d didn't know if it's going to be the kind of game that would actually make me remember what the convers what the uh, combination was or not. Oh wait, maybe I should talk to Scooby first. We're back, Freddy. Oh, hi, Estelle. From the look on your face, it seems like you finished the job. Yep, and we did a fine job. Although we did have a few hang-ups ellipses, we thought we'd report to you as a matter of good measure. So, it really was burnout, huh? I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry kids, you were put in harm's way because of me. Yeah, you should feel you should feel really bad and give us free stuff to make up for it. There's no need to apologize, just give us free stuff. It comes with the territory. Dealing with dangerous jobs is part of a bracer's work. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, I know. How about I give you this to make amends? Yeah. Uh, impede two quartz. All right, sweet. This is a quartz. Yep, an impede two quartz. It can prevent an enemy's arts. It can be pretty useful if you use it effectively. Thanks. We appreciate it. No. Oh, thank you. To the both of you today. If you need to discuss anything about ordnance, then stop by any time. Don't forget to swing by if you have any other business needs. Now, I should actually probably see if I have enough septium to unlock, uh, you know, the little, uh, orbment wheel thing. <coughs> oh, goodness. Guess what I did? That was the wrong button. Or the wrong menu option, rather. No, oh, we got a plus one. All right. Uh, it was the guy up at the port. Maybe this will be the last one because it's getting late and I 
I should go sleepy sleepy. Hmm, new character. Hello. Homegrown girls are fine, but uh, those chicks coming from the Royal City and um, Bosi have that extra layer of polished beauty. Speaking of the Royal City, Queen Alicia's granddaughter, Princess Claudia, lives there. Rumor has it that she's quite the looker. I wonder if it's true ellipses. Probably not you, right? Uh, they've got powerful engines on board. I've been told they cost untold amounts of mirror to develop something like that. It's only through the capital investments from the royal family that these airliners have become a reality. Yeah. <laughs> Our biggest freight export is, of course, septium. Since the Orbman industry developed, it looks like the mine has been seeing a boom in demand. Hmm. Alright, buddy. Tell me what's what. Darn bracers, how long do they intend to keep me waiting? they don't hurry and get here, I'm gonna miss my FLIGHT! I should have expected as much from a rural backwater burg like this, Ellipses. Huh, Ellipses? Well, I'll be! That's the Bracer Emblem, if I'm not mistaken. I've been waiting for you to show up. I have an urgent job, so, you do, uh, so do you have some time to hear my request? Yes, that's why we're here. Uh, sure, we've got some time. Great, this really helps me out a lot. Alright. Let me give you the rundown and explain the details of the job. Let me formally introduce myself. I am Orvid, representative for Orvid Co. Limited. I'm Estelle, and this is Ellipses. Joshua, it's nice to meet you. Stella and Joshua, is it? The two of you are quite young, if I do say so myself. Hey, <laughs> we're actually pretty new to the Soul Bracer thing. Prone to screw it up, but, you know, d don't worry about that. Don't even think about it. Greenhorns! Ellipses. Well, I guess you'll have to do. Pardon? <clears throat> Ellipses, never mind. I was just talking to myself. Alright, let's get down to business. Please excuse my lack of decorum, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Sure. At the moment, I'm looking for a rare mushroom called the Firefly Fungus. It is said that it only grows in soil rich with septium. Oh, we're going to have to steal one of the uh, mayor's flowers, aren't we? There are records of it being picked here in Roland, but no shops seem to carry it. However, it is a vital necessity that I get my hands on one, so I put in a request at the guild house. Soil rich with septium. I can only think of the Malga Trail as a possible location. Do you know any other characteristics of these mushrooms? Seems that it normally grows in areas with patches of grass. Well, I can think of one by the pretzel farm. However, since it is buried in the dirt, if you don't look closely, you won't find it. Jeez, it sounds like a pain in the... pain in the ellipses. But once you dig it up, you'll know if it's a firefly fungus or not. For one thing, it glows with a light green color. So that's why it's called a firefly fungus. Firefly fungus. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Alright, have I explained things clearly enough? So basically, all we need to do is find a glowing mushroom and a patch of grass along the Malga Trail, right? It's that way to me. Now, if they're really growing in the ground, so we probably don't... They're really growing at the grounds. We probably won't be able to find one so easily. If you're running any trouble, come back and speak with me again. I ask that you find one as soon as possible. Alright. Do we need a shovel? Whoops. What are you doing over here? Oh, what a troublesome little kitten. Could she be taking a nap somewhere? Well, put in a request at the guild and I'll find your kitty. Because I like kitties. Kitties are good. All right, I remember there was... Well, here's a patch of grass. Do, 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 do. Nope. There was definitely one over by the pretzel farm. Don't think this was the one I was remembering. Yeah, here's some... Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Nope. There's a big, big patch of dirt. No. No. That's a bush.
bush. That's another bush. Okay, well that doesn't seem to be it. This is the right road, right? Yeah. Right? Mulga Trail. Milch Main Road. Uh, I'm in the wrong spot. Is the Mulga Trail the one north of... <laughs> wrong spot. They both start with M. That's cheating. Yep, Mulga Trail's the, the first place. Okay. Ahem! Let's try this again. Glad I double checked that before I spent half an hour <laughs> looking in the wrong spot. No, oh, uh, Stell, you're you you're not looking great. <laughs> oh, that's always annoying when you do all but like two points of damage to someone. He's probably got like two or three hit points left. And now he's gonna do a critical. But only four, so that's alright. Uh, three damage left, yeah. <laughs> Yes, last, eh, don't stay up too late. Last, last quest, I swear. E e even if the kitty quest shows up. Alright, so we've, this is just a straight shot. Looking for patches of grass. Gotta find the grass, man. I need some grass. That's a flower bed, that doesn't look like grass to me. How about in this little alcove? No. 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 That no, doesn't look like it. Let me just double check the wording here. Uh, Mulga Trail, which is where I am. Okay, so we're fine. Grass, grass, grass. I don't want to go that way. Ah, hell, that's the mode of mine, though. Oops. She's just not quite strong enough to get him dead on a critical. <laughs> well, you focus your power, I'm going to smack you in the head. Right. We, rule. we do. It's going to be on the other path, though. Totally going to be on the other path. Unless it's like here, these these are not grassy patches. Those are bushes. I'm gonna be very upset if it ends up in being in one of these flower patches. Can you upgrade weapons? I don't know if you can upgrade weapons. You can definitely buy new. Whoops. You can definitely buy new ones though. I'm busy. Go away. You ain't worth the time because you only give me like four, six experience or something like that. Uh, 
Alright. Uh, button, button, button. Here we go. Alright, let's try real hard not to die. Ah, damn it, Joshua, you're gonna get us killed all the time. experience for how hard those damn things hit. That's a, the trailing character, man. Can't run around things because Joshua will constantly get hit by them. And you'll be... S run away! Grinding would be worth it, just not grinding these enemies, because they don't give me a whole heck of a lot of experience. Like, that was four enemies, and I clicked past it, so I didn't see what it was. Uh, what's going on here? Alright, so we are off to the north. Again, Andrew, you have to learn not to try to run past these because Joshua will get hit by them every single time. And seriously, these things just do an enormous amount of damage. Really, the solution is probably just engage them and then run to get past them. Aha! <laughs> Here we go. Aha! What's with the sudden outburst? I found it. Now to claim our prize. Found the firefly fungus. Is that ellipses? You think so too? The place, is, the place it's growing seems about right and it's got that soft green glow. This has to be that firefly fungus. That's what it's fa that what's his face was talking about. You mean Orbit, right? Yeah, that's who I mean. 
Doesn't look all that tasty, but I, it sure is pretty for a mushroom. Almost like the glow of septium, if you ask me. Septium? What's up, Joshua? I may be worrying too much, but I think you'd better put that mushroom in your bag quickly, Estelle. Eh, uh, what the... Just like I figured. This mushroom attracts ellipses? Estelle, look out! Alright, how are we doing on health here? Okay. Now, are these, like, special monsters that hit super hard, or...? No, they seem to be normal. But I should mention, as far as grinding goes, while these enemies don't give you a ton of experience, uh, you can get uh, items and um, septium out of them, so that's, that's not nothing. Ah, you missed. Yeah, well, I bet you hurt your foot on my face. We're good to go. Yeah, see that those three enemies, they're one experience apiece. <laughs> But, you know, got uh, six red septium and six uh, silver septium. And some beast flesh. Now that was a surprise, I tell ya. Did you put that thing away? Yep, it's all taken care of. The light emitted by raw septium has the power to attract monsters ellipses. This mushroom also seems to have the same effect. That sneaky merchant. He never mentioned a single thing about this. Anyway, let's hurry back to town. Right. Just wait till I get my hands on you, you conniving merchant! Can we can we pick more? No? No. Great destroyer. Hello. No. A again. I do that every time. It is such a reflex for me. Cannot stop doing that. Like I don't want to fight you. I'll just run past you and Joshua face plants right into him every time. Run away! Well, so far I have yet to fail to run from battle, so that's nice. I don't know if you know the enemies have blocked your way. I don't. Again, tried to run around. I I can't stop doing that. Run away! Whoop. Okay, that one I just totally didn't see, so... Alright, we're away from that path, so that's nice. Alright, back to town with our nice little mushroom. Okay. We're alive! <laughs> We're alive! Alright, Orville or Orvid? What was your name? I don't know why, but the music for Overworld and RPGs always makes me melancholy. The Overworld music is typically very mellow and serene, that's true. 
What's that you say? You found the mushroom? Yep, we found it, all right. Oh, wonderful. But it might be different than the one we heard about from you. You see, this mushroom attracts monsters. Ellipses. Ah, uh, well, ellipses, it's, it's like this. Ellipses. So, even though you knew the risk, you hired us for the job. Orbit. What? How was I supposed to know something like that? And besides, a bracer's job is a deal with danger, right? Well, a little heads up would have been nice if we could have at least been prepared. Never mind us. The big question here is your motive. What do you intend to use this mushroom for? Terrorist attack? Yeah, this thing could be a weapon. Fess up, you had some big nefarious plan in mind, right? A nefarious mushroom plan! That uh, the ellipses, what? I isn't it obvious what I'm going to use it for? For cooking, of course. What? Cooking, ellipses? Are you trying to tell me that people actually eat this thing? This is why it's such a pain to deal with country bumpkins. In the hands of a skilled chef, the more distinct the ingredient, the more profound the taste. And from that perspective, the Firefly Fungus is the king of them all. That is, no doubt, the ultimate ingredient. Yeah, but we only got you one mushroom, so... I guess you could grow it. Ellipses. So, pretty much what you're saying is that it's for people with bizarre eating habits. Harumph! That's, that's the talk of one unacquainted with a true delicacy. But then again, commoners such as yourselves would never have an opportunity to try such dishes. And praise be to heaven for that, Ellipses. I'd never want to gnaw on a ratty green mushroom like that. Agreed, it looks pretty nasty, Ellipses. Anyway, I have other business preparations to make. Now, if you don't mind, I'd ask that you hand over the mushroom and leave. Yeah, please take it. Hand it over, Firefly Fungus. On behalf of this mushroom, I shall turn a blind eye to your ignorance. And as promised, I will pay you, so be grateful to your client. Nobody's going to buy that mushroom, I hope you know. Come on, Joshua, let's go. Please excuse us, we'll be going now. Yes, please do. Alright, quest complete. Anything else? Yes, is there something else? I'm busy preparing for some business negotiations. Would you mind leaving me alone? Alright, let's report our, uh... Report our, uh, success, and then... As long as there's no kitty quest. We'll hang it up for the evening. Good work. It seems like you completed your objective without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. And nothing new, right? Okay, we're good. And it's after one in the morning and I need to work in the morning, so... This is where we will hang it up for the night. So, I uh, hope you y'all enjoyed the stream. I uh, hope it's not too late where y'all are. And uh, I look forward to playing some more of this later. So, uh, take care, everyone. Good night.